Hi, I'm Dave Soper. I'm one of the technical marketing engineers supporting UCS software, including our integrations with tools like Ansible for configuration management. The environment used in this demo is hosted in the Cisco Demo Cloud at dcloud.cisco.com and is based on UCS programmability environment. In the UCS programmability environment, there is an instance of UCS Central and four instances of the UCS Platform Emulator. The UCS Platform Emulator allows a user to have a fully functional UCSM environment hosted on a virtual machine and removes the need for physical hardware for programming against UCSM endpoints. UCS Manager's Ansible module can be used to perform a variety of configuration and ongoing management tasks. And initially we will look at how NTP or time settings can be set up and maintained within UCS Manager. In the dCloud environment, the UCSM Ansible module is installed on a Linux host and will perform configuration management of UCS from that host. An overview of the configuration files in the module include the inventory file used to control specific groups of hosts and individual hosts themselves. The example file here has a single UCS group which contains information for the four managed UCS hosts, UCS 1, 2, 3, and 4, and with the inventory file also specifies the IPs or host names of those managed hosts and their login credentials. Next we'll look at the top level playbook for this module, which is named site.yml, a YAML file, and this YAML file contains several plays to be run against certain hosts. Each host line in the top level site YAML file contains a specific target to run commands against. Localhost is the current host running and it runs a common role to confirm that UCSM, SDK, and the Ansible module are properly installed for running this playbook. The second host file specifies a single host, UCS1, to run a NTP enable task against and use the Cisco UCS NTP module. The specific NTP server configured is given by a variable, which we'll look at how that's set up in just a second. And then the UCS IP username and password are all picked up from variables pulled from the inventory file. This site.yaml playbook also has one additional task to run which is configuration of all the hosts in the inventory, all the UCS hosts in that UCS host group in the inventory file. And the role performed in this play is to configure boot order on those hosts. The variables used in NTP settings and for the boot order role are configured through files in two different locations. One is the group vars directory, which specifies variables that apply to an entire group. In this case, we've got a group vars slash all file that gives configuration settings for any group configured by Ansible. And in our inventory file, this was the UCS group, which included all the UCS platform emulators in our environment. The other variable file is host vars. And in this case, the host vars directory contains a UCSM, a UCS1 file that specifies settings for the individual UCS1 host. And the difference between group vars and host vars is just the directory name. And host vars applies first to any specific hosts. And then group vars will apply um, broadly, sort of like global variables, to named groups. The last thing we'll look at in our playbook and data organization for this Ansible module is our roles directory structure where roles and then a specific role name helps tell Ansible where to find data for a named role in our playbook. In this case, our top level site YAML file 
add a play to go and configure a boot order role on our UCS host group. If we go and look at roles, boot order, tasks, and then the main YAML file there, we see that we have a couple different tasks to execute. The first being to create a named boot policy, and the second being to create a boot order within that boot policy where we use our boot devices variable to set up given boot devices and boot ordering. With the Ansible module and data files in place, we can now go and run those playbooks with Ansible playbook specifying an inventory and a YAML playbook to use. As this runs, we see the common role tasks run to confirm UCSM SDK and UCSM APIs are installed, and then we enable NTP on UCS1. And in the UCSM background, we see that NTP is configured in that UCSM instance. The playbook then goes on to configure boot order on the given hosts, and several of our hosts were already set up with boot order, but we see a change indicated on UCS1 where the boot order has been set up on that host. And when we go and look at the UCS Manager UI and look at the server boot policies, we see our Ansible boot policy has been added and the boot devices as specified are there now with a LAN boot from ETH0 as the first ordered boot device and then local LUN as the second one. Thank you for your time. For more information, please visit the following websites.